Well, uh, first of all, of course, I uh, am very, very grateful to uh, the organizers. And I wish to express my deep gratitude to <coughs> Stefan Gregorich, San Bogus, uh, 75th anniversary. Uh, it is now. Uh, so I met uh, Stefan Gregorich a long, long time ago. It was uh, 87. Uh, 1997, when after consultation with Academician Nikolsky, I decided to invite him to uh, mathematical school on the far eastern part of Soviet Union, and uh, he arrived to uh, city Nakhodka. This is on the near of Japanese Sea. We spent uh, very fruitful time. Uh, in particular, uh, Professor Sanko gave a few very interesting lecture, lectures on the mathematical school. And uh, since then, we had uh, some communications. Um, but uh, I would like to uh, tell you a story which I, I knew yesterday when, uh, during that very charming dinner. Stefan's house. So uh, uh, it was time uh, when uh, winter was quite cold in the Soviet Union. Not so cold as, as now, but uh, at that time it was quite cold. And uh, Stefan bought a special, very warm cap for him and brought it uh, back to Rostov. But unfortunately, this cap was lost, and this probably was a reason for him to come to Portugal. <laughs> so never, never use this one cap. Uh, okay, so uh, now I switch on that my presentation. Uh, this work was done with my two former PhD students, Dmitry Prokhorov and uh, Elena Ushakova. And, uh, so we can uh, consider a uh, very interesting, in my opinion, program concerning solar, weighted solar space, very simple case on real life. So uh, we have an interval of real line. Uh, and for this value of parameters, P, parameter P, uh, we denote LP as the usual direct space with the usual norm, this integral norm. And when P is equal to infinity, then uh, we use standard modification for, for the norm. Uh, by this symbol, we denote a set of weights. We use uh, two weights to define the Sobolev space with the first derivative. So uh, we have this uh, Sobolev space uh, where the norm contains two terms, the sum of two terms. Uh, the first is just the usual LP norm of the function uh, times uh, on uh, weight V0. And uh, the second term is a uh, weight weight norm, uh, Lebesgue weight norm with derivative. Uh, we consider three types of solar space. Uh, the first one is defined. The second one is the set of all functions uh, with zero boundary condition. And this one is uh, the set of functions with a compact super. And uh, what is really curious that uh, normally uh, this uh, space uh, it is used like a, um, like auxiliary step, like a first preliminary uh, space when in, 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 in very many in very many problems in, in differential equation and so on. Uh, but uh, then. Uh, Normally, uh, taking the completion, 
From this set we obtained this one, uh, this set, uh, and uh, the second set is, uh, uh, is a absolute standard sovereign space uh, of function with zero boundary conditions. But uh, for us, this uh, space of function with complex super inside of the interval uh, happened to be more important and more uh, unexpected, with uh, uh, some unexpected properties. <coughs> so, uh, now we, for every such a space, this, this, or this, uh, we define the domain of function, the domain of function which support this Lebesgue integral. So this Lebesgue integral uh, should be finite for, for any function f from this space. Uh, why it is important? Because later we, uh, we use uh, definition of two functional. Uh, the first functional is, uh, is like a norm in dual space, and the second one also uh, like a norm in the dual space. But uh, this norm uh, is written for, for, uh, for a function. So uh, it's quite a standard uh, result, in fact, from a function analysis that uh, for solar space we could define a, a, a dual in sense of conjugate space, which consists of functionals. And uh, of course, there are some representation theorems like this representation theorem that uh, describe that uh, dual spaces. But anyway. The, uh, this space contain, uh, contain from of uh, functions, but we want to define space which contains, uh, which consists of uh, uh, of the functions, not functions. That's our main idea. And uh, having such a problem, we have to define first of all from what uh, set of uh, functions we could. Uh, uh, extract that uh, new spaces, and for this we define this to uh, this to functional. Uh, so I, I I would say the first type of function or the second one. Uh, the difference is that the modular uh, here on the denominator uh, stay uh, outside of the integral, and here. Uh, the, uh, this module is inside. <laughs> so the difference uh, looks very small. Uh, and for instance, there is a classical book about uh, uh, about uh, so-called rearrangement in varying spaces. These spaces uh, are ideal, and together with the uh, element, uh, the spaces contains the module. Uh, and uh, in this uh, book, for instance, just from the beginning, uh, this authors proved theorem that no matter where this modular uh, is, in, uh, if you if you uh, define the social space for the arrangement in various spaces, but now it is important. So these two functional. Uh, Define two uh, associate spaces. We call it associate, not dual, but associate. The first type and the second one. Well, well uh, to, uh, the description of that uh, spaces uh, partially it was known, and uh, it was known in frames of uh, description of the weighted inequalities of this type. It is so-called three-weight sober of inequality, uh, which was uh, uh, started to investigate long, long time ago. Uh, it was several works of Mazia, uh, some Ottolbayev, uh, Oynarov, and so on. But uh, finally, in, in that uh, 1993, Rusko Oynarov proved uh, precise criteria which describes weights 
for each risk and equality is true, and we got also two-sided estimates for the best constant C. Uh, but uh, then it was noticed a bit later, much later, then uh, if you divide the left side on the norm of the right side and take the supremum, then you just obtain, uh, just obtain the, the, this function. Well, and so uh, in frames of description of that inequality uh, was proved uh, the following theory. Uh, I give the uh, statement in, uh, from our um, recent paper joined with Ushakova and uh, Simon Ellison from York University. But before to do this, uh, I uh, uh, I pay I draw your attention to to that uh, to that lemma, which is quite important uh, in the proof of the next result. Uh, so in, in this lemma, we uh, deal with uh, any real vector spaces, and uh, if we have a function f. F, which maps uh, some measure spaces. And if uh, we have an uh, operator, not necessarily linear, uh, so, uh, it, it's a problem. Okay. So, um, if we have an operator not necessarily linear with that properties, the first is just uh, that modular uh, belongs to X uh, together with the element. The second is just uh, linearity for the positive parameter. The next is uh, that monotonicity property for the, uh, that uh, operator. Next is quite natural inequality on this side, and, and then uh, we should suppose uh, these two properties. Uh, I should I should say that uh, in what follows, if the solar space is complete, then uh, this property is automatically fulfilled. But uh, we consider the case of weighted solar space when it is not necessarily complete. And so we need this lemma uh, to prove the following. Uh, just a second. So the result is that uh, under, we, under these restrictions, uh, uh, the, uh, the operator maps x into y. So the first result is uh, the following. Mm, for the sovereign space, with only condition that uh, uh, locally integrable weights v0 and v1, and uh, the, this reverse weight should be locally uh, t prime integrable. Under this condition, uh, these two functional, uh, the first kind of functional and the second, for the space w or w is 0, they are equivalent. And also, uh, if you put uh, this first type of functional for uh, this modular function, take of the modular function here, then uh, all three, all three spaces, uh, uh, the functionals for all three spaces, W, W0, and W is uh, double naught, they also are equivalent. Uh, but that equivalence is not perfect in the sense that uh, uh, we naturally have this inequality because uh, this function is bigger than that. But reverse inequality, we do not have the uh, uh, homogeneous uh, constant uh, C. Uh, this constant is not uniform. The constant uh, C T uh, depends on element G. For any element, the constant exists, but could be a, 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 a blow up. Okay, uh, then what follows? We need the following uh, 
beautiful uh, on earth autobiograph construction, uh, which uh, was used from the beginning in the work of uh, autobiograph first, and then on earth, his former student, was developed by Professor Einar. Uh, and uh, in that uh, problem concerning uh, differential operator like Storm Lewy or Schrodinger with some potential, this construction is very, very, very useful. So, uh, uh, it's just a few lines about definition, but uh, now I am just uh, explain a bit more uh, simply, in, in a more simple way, this construction. So when you work with uh, solar space, we have two ways. So uh, it's an uh, absolutely different description. 
And uh, indeed, later on, I'll show you by an example that this functional uh, could be completely different. The, uh, the first one could be infinity, but the second one could be finite. This is just sick. Uh, well, but uh, the first type of functional for for the, uh, the more strong uh, space that would say uh, w, w zero uh, described by the same function, but uh, but look, uh, this function is finite only if the more strong functional g uh, not is finite. But the norm is equivalent to the sum of these two, two terms. Okay, so that, that's uh, my results. And now I will try to demonstrate uh, some particularities uh, using that very, very simple, very simple example. Very simple uh, space on a uh, half real line. And, and now uh, uh, the sovereign space with double zero is uh, when they function uh, just have a composite. And the, uh, the uh, space W with not with zero coincides with uh, this. Uh, usual sovereign spaces and described by, by the property that it should be an absolutely continuous function with value zero at zero at uh, origin and with finite norm. They, uh, this norm is so simple that it's just equivalent to the Lebesgue norm uh, of derivative. Uh, so, using that uh, above my result, we obtain the full description of that, uh, that functions that of the second type by the first, uh, by the first uh, integral, uh, where this delta of x is just two, two straight lines. Uh, and in the second, uh, in the second uh, we have uh, uh, two terms of this type uh, with uh, a bit different integration. Uh, and, and, and so we have, uh, for the first uh, type of uh, solar space, uh, uh, either uh, this or this, uh, we have the finiteness uh, of that functional equal to the norm in the associated space, and the second two. But uh, now just uh, I would like to spend a few minutes to demonstrate a little bit more approach to this uh, to this case. So you know, if you define that uh, that functional, then uh, uh, it is possible to prove that actually uh, we can uh, uh, replace that integral inside of uh, this integral of a uh, uh, interval. We could replace uh, on integral over half half line of this type. <coughs> but uh, it, it is not possible for the second type of uh, solar space. But it was a natural, natural uh, uh, hypothesis that in the second case we should have uh, the, uh, this function instead of, uh, instead of uh, uh, these two terms. But uh, uh, finally, we prove that this is not true. We cannot replace. Uh, and uh, there are a few examples. The first example is that simple function. We show that uh, uh, that function is uh, infinite. Uh, but uh, this one is finite. It means that. Uh, <coughs> it means that in the, for the second uh, space we cannot replace uh, the norm by, by this uh, expression. And uh, it, it is uh, interesting to follow that 
uh, this space of function that uh, L, L2, uh, uh, L strip 2, is bigger, is bigger than the associated space. But if you, uh, if you can uh, uh, use uh, such a limiting, such a limiting procedure, then you can enlarge the space and uh, obtain like a new associated space, associated space extension, which uh, really coincides with uh, uh, that, uh, that norm. Uh, okay, and finally, uh, uh, a few remarks. In particular, this proposition form uh, shows that uh, the sober space in double zero uh, with double zero, which was precisely uh, described by, by the last theorem, uh, with respect to that more simple functionals, unfortunately, uh, can, uh, cannot be described. We have only that conclusion that uh, X prime contains L2, and this contained in the intersection, and that's all. And uh, this example shows that uh, the function we described, this one, could be finite but with this function, but uh, this function is, uh, is the equation. Uh, so this material is published in the planet quite recently and accepted and will be published in the journal of mathematics. And I hope that it should happen quite soon. Thank you very much. Please questions.
and I don't know any result in that direction. <laughs> okay, I help you to translate your question in the English. Please. Well, in the round of questions, please let's thank you again, speaker. 